Hello guys and welcome back to the Smith Factory. Today we're going to be learning how to whistle. So first off, in order to learn how to whistle, you know, you have to know what whistling is. Whistling is a high screechy sound that comes out of your mouth from when you release air through your tongue and out through your mouth. So, once you put your lips together and you blow, you get a sound that sounds something like this. <whistles> Simple, right? Not that easy. It's a lot of people in the world that still don't know how to whistle to this day. And that's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing really hard. It's kind of simple, but it just takes some practice. Some people take longer than others. Some people are shorter than others. But if you want to learn how to whistle, all you really have to do is take these three steps. One, practice. Two, you have to loosen up your jaws because a lot of people just keep their jaws real tight and just <laughs> it's not like you blowing on hot food it's it's not that and three practice practice makes perfect so I got quite a few ways that I know how to whistle and I'm gonna show you a few right now so when I was younger, my dad used to walk around the house a lot whistling. And that sound, hearing something consecutively, it just, something about it. I'm like, how you do that? And he told me what to do. And eventually I caught on to it. And I learned how to do it. And I was so excited. I got to remember, focus, look at the camera. I was so excited when I learned how to whistle. So without further ado, let's get this cracking. The first way is the regular, regular whistle. Seems simple enough. This one I haven't seen a lot. Really, I don't know a lot of people that can do it. But I can whistle through my tongue. That's kind of interesting. Because you don't really see it done like that. And I can wolf whistle. So, you know, with the two fin four fingers. See, not even... Practice makes perfect. I mean, I could do it, but... I'm sitting here in front of the camera and it's like intimidating. It's like I got a lot of people watching me. I don't work well under pressure. <laughs> there it go, just like that. And it's ear screeching. The two finger is the hardest one, but I know how to do it. It's just very, very hard. And it might take a few tries, so bear with me. See? It's very hard. Very, very hard. Okay, guys. Now, let's try this one more again. Uh, I'm going to use my right hand. There it go. That's how you do it. So, basically... One second, because my neighbors are nosy. They are very, I mean, not nosy, noisy, very noisy. One second, please. That is considered the no look whistle. So in whistling, it's not really hard, but it is. You have to put your lips together, kind of make like a circle and then blow. Blow soft and subtly. It might sound like when you first start, but eventually you'll get that the pitch. 
And then as you go on, the harder you blow, the louder. See, if I blow soft like, it, but if I blow harder, it's, it's all in the technique. You just put your lips together and I know it's not a lot of detail, but it's, it's not a lot of people where they go wrong with whistling. They put their lips together and they blow like it's food, like they blow like it's hot food. You don't blow excessively or you don't blow very hard. You just. I know you're like easy for you to say you already know how to do it don't worry it took me a while to learn too it took me about three and a half months to learn how to whistle one way now i know how to whistle millions of different ways and i told you before i could whistle through my tongue that's the most unique thing about me that's one of my special talents being able to whistle through my tongue and crack my knuckles on cue like this I could do that all day that's two of my unique talents whistling through my tongue and cracking my knuckles on cue I know a lot of you ask does it hurt no it does not hurt but it does make your hands very tired. And I don't know how I do it. I just put my fingers together like this and pull them down and, and it cracks. I, I never know. That's two of my talents. But back to whistling. It's Practice makes perfect. Let's say that. So if you really truly want to learn, you have to really practice. And just... Don't and don't give up. Don't get frustrated if you don't get it on the first try. Not a lot of people get it on the first try. It takes a couple. It takes a while. Maybe a couple weeks. Maybe a couple months. But you will learn it eventually. Trust me. I love to do the wolf whistle. That's the loud whistle. <laughs> My brother. Hey, I do have a real echo in the room that I'm recording in, but. The sound echoes off the wall, which makes it so much cooler. And my brother hates how loud it is. And I love it. Because it's so fun. That is a good way to get someone's attention. Like, if they're far away, a friend, something like that. Or just to irritate the hell out of someone. That's the perfect thing to do. If you guys want me to do a video on how to do the water drop, which is basically just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be happy, more than happy, to do that video for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. And for this one part, I'm going to do a close-up so you don't think I'm snapping my fingers. Because in actuality, I don't even know how to snap my left. I'm not left-handed. Right, I can snap, but fingers here. So you don't say I'm snapping my fingers. It's just... Pull and crack.